All right, guys, we got it in. It is a real light truck camper, a 1912. Just gonna kind of back up a little bit. We've got them uh, tucked in pretty tight. So uh, first thing that I noticed on this thing is it's got that rear awning, and then it's actually got a side awning here too. So kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen a truck camper with the dual awnings that way. Um, the other thing that I'd like to point out is it's actually on uh, the off campsite so it's on the driver's side door um, of how your truck would be so you could just pull straight in instead of having a back end um, kind of nifty that way of course you do got the power legs take it up take it down um, I know these are these are designed to be a little more price point than uh, some of the bigger uh, host campers that we've got but you still get frameless windows there's a lot of nice extra things that you still get on here that I was actually very surprised to see exterior speakers all that good stuff nice big 30 pound uh, propane tank sitting in here you do have I'll put my coffee cup down oops some dump hoses there um, small little things that I find are quite interesting nice reflector in there for palomino inside the steps got some storage that's kind of cool some more access plumbing but everything is actually very straightforward and thought out on these things so i'm gonna get you in and we'll take a look at the inside i suppose uh kind of get some power options there that's your control panel for your legs and uh, you're, I'm going to have to apologize. We did just get this one in. So there's a few things that haven't been taken care of or addressed. And we'll just tackle those as they come. Got some storage in the back right when you walk in. Rooftop speakers. This is the slide out. Nice big booth dinette table, of course, makes into a bed. You do have slow rise. Oops, I'm tripping trying to get up here. Shades. So... That's kind of nifty. I'm going to spin you around, hopefully not too quickly, and get you into the main area. This is actually, this is what I talked about. This is an air conditioner that goes on the roof. And there's some more pieces. So we actually have to put those on. They don't come that way from the factory. Some control panels. Huge storage drawers and again they're kind of hitting my boxes which i'll have to move plenty of area here and i'm going to do that move the box thing as we talked about because i'm actually going to get you into the restroom so it's kind of like a wet shower kind of a thing it's got everything all in one kind of comes off the sink does your showering you've got your your dome vent for standing rooftop for uh, smells just a nifty little storage area in here. Put your TP or whatnot if you don't want it to get wet. Little medicine cabinet, kind of does the job. If you look in here, everything's, uh, I don't know if it's plastic or fiberglass, but it's some sort of coated. <coughs> Down here, pull that out. Got shower drain area, put this in. You won't have to worry about any of that remaining water getting on your feet, so. Kind of nifty, kind of interesting does have an oven fuses are right down there there you go drawers pull way out i move the air conditioner here microwave does have a nice three burner stove big huge sink nice stainless uh, does give you a little corner step up right there to get into the bed so that's actually kind of cool Television all set and ready to rock and roll. Looks like you've got a charging center hidden behind it there uh, Bedroom front window very nice speakers USB 110 power on either side of the bed Nice big fantastic fan right above you for air travel And they kind of use a really good job do a really good job of using all the space from a storage standpoint and even right in here, there's a little finger hole. Pops up and you can kind of put stuff in it. So that's nice. Mattress seems to be a little nicer than most. I'm not feeling springs. Looks like we're rocking a, uh, a traditional 
fridge and freezer so you can uh, run this thing off of power or LP. I know the big push lately has been to go to go to 12 volt and I don't think that really uh, resonates well with a truck camper crowd so I'm happy to see they put the regular refrigerator in here so that is this unit as a whole. Um, we've been waiting on these things for months. We were supposed to have had them months ago and they finally showed so if you guys are interested, the sooner the better, because I don't know when we're getting them back.